Good evening and praise the Lord. If one, Sava, bonjour. It is say, how are you? I know you are all right. God bless you for uh, joining us on this feed, free online Bible school organized by Peach Chapel International. I'm one of the teachers of this great school. My name is Efo Salasi, Efo Lolonyo, Elemausi. Efu Fafa, Adofu Wa, Eya Dumu Ngo Akeke. And you may have a out chapter 16. I said, you know, we want to make sure uh, we go through uh, verse by verse and then also uh, begin to do some application. I will just urge you and with respect to call somebody, to call somebody to share the video and join us. Either you are a man of God, woman of God, either you are a lay leader, an officer, or a Christian. This program has been prepared by the, the church, and the purpose is every believer must be able to have detailed meaning and application of scriptures. So please, chapel, online Bible school for transformation uh, for all men and women alike. Thank you very much. Thank When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Moving in a mist. Jen 5.30, the Bible says, Is any one of you suffering? Is any one of you going through hardship? Let him pray. Prayer is the key. Jesus Christ, he prayed. The apostles prayed. Abraham prayed. Hannah prayed. We call it divine encounter. So, my name is my own vampire, my own vampire. If you want your level to change, it is through prayer. Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. Peace Chapel, Facebook Live. All you need to do, search Peace Chapel and meet Peace Chapel International pastors and men and women of God. And there shall be a change of level because through prayer, you can encounter God and there shall be a performance. Meet me there. Your love is Somebody leaves you and comes back. And you just left me to marry. And when the marriage got tougher and tougher, you are coming back. Foul through. Men marry with their eyes. Whereas women, they marry with their ears. So when it comes to communication, those of you who are wives, be careful the way you dress in the night. When my wife and I go into a bed, the way she dress, her dress is trying to talk to me and so wives you must know that your body belongs to jesus and your own husband it's a sin for you to sleep with a strange woman apart from your wife if you say i'm not in the mood what do you mean if you are not in the mood he is in the mood now give it to him so you have about four billion women you are supposed to marry one the whole world is at your disposal don't make mistake why will you go for somebody's leftover don't go for leftover you are wondering thinking and seeking answers are you single married or in a relationship do you have challenges bringing up your children in the godly way do you have challenges in your marriage then join us this very saturday and every other saturday at 7 p.m on family matters peace chapel facebook live 
and your family will take a good turn. Family Matters, redefining your homes. Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Malaysia 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, See. back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel with International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Shalom. Amazing web. When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Moving in a mist. This is a free online Bible school. Before we start, we are going to pray. Uh, but before that, I want you to know you can send me uh, your question and your suggestion to 0554 0554-592569. Uh, you can also send your questions to the comment section on the Facebook. Yes, I tell somebody to go to our Facebook and get search for Peace Chapel and then he'll meet us. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you tonight for your children around the globe, brothers and sisters in Christ, who are ready to learn from you. Uh, we are all learning from you because you are the one that has given us all it takes. By your grace, you've allowed me to be a teacher this evening. Help me to teach with clarity, with simplicity, and take all the glory and let your children walk in the blessings. Give us teachable spirit. Help us to understand your word and uh, to live a life that pleases you. Take the glory. Thank you for all this technical team. We thank you for their life and all online on, on live viewers and also preach up on Teresa as a church. Thank you for brothers and sisters who are going to hear today and who are going to hear often and often and after today. My prayer that even this program, anytime anyone view it, let that person become blessed. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, Joe Usu Ohineba, the prophet himself, is online, and then also for Mike is also, Mike, Michael, and all of you, welcome on board. Uh, please share the page, be a sharer, and create a watch party. So let's begin this evening with uh, Acts chapter 16. The other day we read 1 to 5, today we want to finish the whole chapter, and uh, so let's go. Acts 15, so we are continuing from Acts uh, 16, verse 6. Next, Apostle Paul and Salah traveled to the area of Prigia and Galatia because the Holy Spirit had prevented them from preaching the word in the province of Asia at that time. Then coming to the borders of Mysia, they headed north for the province of Bithynia. But again, the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them to go there. So instead, they, want, they went on through Mysia to the seaport of Troas. 
That night, Paul had a mission. A man from Macedonia in northern Greece was standing there pleading with him, come over to Macedonia and help us. So we decided to leave for Macedonia at once, having concluded that God was calling us to preach the good news there. We bounded verse 11, Acts 16, 11. We bounded, no, we boarded at, we boarded the boat at trials and sailed straight across to our land of Samotras. And the next day we landed at Neopolis. From there, we reached Philippi, a major city of the district of Macedonia, a Roman colony. And we stayed there several days. On the day, on the Sabbath, we went a little way outside the city to a river bank, where we told people we'll be meeting for prayer. We sat down to speak with some women who had gathered there. One of them was Lydia from Titria, a merchant of expensive purple cloth who was a God. As she listened to us, the Lord opened her heart and she accepted what Paul was saying. She was baptized along with other members of the household and she asked to be her guest. If you agree that I am a true believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay at my home. And as she urged us until we agreed. All right. For Tayabua, Yapoku, welcome on board and God bless you that uh, you are a top fan and you are serving and you are viewing this program with us. So let's do some uh, literal uh, explanation. It was five years since Paul had preached in Derby and Lystra. But when he returned, when he returned, his heart must have been gladdened for there had emerged a young man who was to be very dear to him. It was only natural that Paul should be looking for someone to take Mark's place. He was always, Paul was always aware of the necessity of training a new generation for the work that lay ahead. He found just that kind of man he wanted in young Timothy. On the face of it, it, it is something of a problem, but uh, Apostle Paul circumcised Timothy for he had just won a battle in which circumcision had been declared unnecessary. The reason was that Timothy was a Jew and had and Paul had never said that circumcision was not necessary for the Jews. It was the Gentiles who were freed from ceremonies of the Jewish way of life. Okay, somebody said, be sure there is noise in the audio. Okay, Amachi, thank you very much. Our people are working on that. God bless you. All right, so uh, I read chapter 16, verses uh, 6 up to 15. And... Uh, those of you who were with us last uh, Monday, we speak a bit from the verse 1 to verse 5 about uh, the call of Timothy and uh, the, we even learned something about Timothy and why Paul need to uh, uh, circumcise him. And uh, we are continuing this morning, I beg your pardon, this evening about after uh, Timothy, what happened. But before we, uh, we go to the verse 6 proper, I want to make some uh intervention from the first four verses. I don't know whether the sun is okay now. And please, those who are watching, God bless you for watching and that we are serving you. I'm happy. William Money, God bless you that all the time you are with us. Okay. So let's begin to uh, take some information about the Jews. In fact, as Apostle Paul accepting Timothy as a Jew, Paul just showed how a man emancipated the horse from the Jewish thought. Why? Timothy was the son of a mixed marriage. Please take this one. The street Jew refused to accept that as a marriage at all. In fact, if a Jewish girl married a Gentile boy or a Jewish boy married a Gentile girl, he would regard that Jewish boy or girl as dead. So much so that sometimes a funeral was actually carried out. Listen. <laughs> A Jew for somebody. So if somebody is a Jew and he marries a Gentile girl, the people there see these people as they are dead. They've been condoned for that. What are we saying? 
For Apostle Paul accepts a child of such marriage as a brother Jew, Paul saw how definitely he had broken down all national barriers. So had not been Paul encounter with Jesus Christ, Timothy, Timothy could have ever followed Paul. Why? Because his mom was a Jew, but his uh, father was a Gentile. So like the Jewish custom, people supposed to uh, conduct a ceremony as if uh, Timothy was a dead man. But Apostle Paul chose him to follow him. As a matter of fact, as you, you study scriptures, you realize that uh, Apostle Paul trained Timothy and Timothy took over from uh, Apostle Paul. How do I know? When you go to 2 Timothy chapter uh, 4, you see how Paul was saying, bring Tim tell Timothy to come. And when he's coming, he, mu he must bring all my books and my notes. And he was saying, I'm, I'm about to be died. Uh -huh. So before Paul died, he prepared Timothy. And as a matter of fact, Timothy was there before uh, Paul gave up uh, his ghost. So eventually, Timothy took over Paul. He took over from Paul. Why? Paul as agent and uh, as apostle, you know, they kill him and uh, Timothy need to continue. The only lesson I want us to learn here this uh, evening, I'm on one is that no matter how rigid our belief system will be, when we come to Jesus, we must be able to abobrate or break away all those kind of rigid tradition and custom because it doesn't save. There was no way that typical original Jew will ever walk along with Timothy. But as for Paul, he knew that Jesus' blood has power to break every chain. So he took the Gentile and the Jewish mixed boy and made him his assistant. And eventually, you know, two of the things that Paul said about uh, uh, Timothy. Let's see. Timothy was a lad with a great inheritance. He had a good mother and a good grandmother. 2 Timothy 1 verse 5. 2 Timothy 1 verse 5. Up to the days to come, Paul called him messenger. 1 Corinthians 4.17, 1 Corinthians 4, 17, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2 to 6. He was at Rome with Paul when Apostle Paul was in prison. Philippians 1 verse 1, Philippians 1 verse 1, Philippians 2.19, Philippians 2.19, Colossians 1 1, Colossians 1 1. Philemon 1 1, Philemon 1 1. Timothy was a very special relationship to Paul. When Paul wrote to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 4 17, 4 17, he called him his beloved son. Can you imagine? Beloved son. When he wrote to the Philippians, he said that there was no one whose mind was so much at one with his own. Philippians 2 19 20. Philippians 2 19 20. It seems very likely that Paul saw in Timothy his successor when he had to lay down his work. Happy indeed is the man to whom it is given to see the result of his training in one who can take up the burden when he lays it down. All this simply made that although background-wise, Timothy didn't qualify. But for Apostle Paul, Jesus saved him. And so if Jesus saved him, despite his mistakes, he also saw something good in Timothy and took him alone. And uh, he ignored the tradition, the rigid tradition of the Jews. And he took Timothy alone, traded him, and Timothy took over from Paul. That's exciting. Now he called him my son. Interesting. And eventually he said, as I read to you, no one had the same mind like Timothy from Philippians 2, 19, 20. Now, so one lesson we can learn from there, uh, Cindy Rhoda, God bless you for joining us. One lesson we can learn is that no matter who you are, if you're a son, no matter your background, as a young man following a senior man, all you need to do is that you must be able to be a young man with integrity, a young woman with integrity. And it doesn't matter your past or what is behind you or what is against you. Jesus can change your life. Timothy, from the background, was not supposed to be Apostle Paul's successor, but because of his behavior. And yet, Serbia, Ufri, Ubi, Krub, Anase, Debi, Debi, Akuma, Papa, Nebi, Nipechi, 
Oh, come, Papa, ready to me. We are Juma, and me, ye, and so more. My young man, and my baba, my baba, would dim penny for you know. I am my shannon so. Boat to my bennies, God bless you. Yes, because today, no, we have a young upcoming minister, sir, because of impatience and their own stupidity. They don't have patience to follow leaders. Can you imagine Timothy? Culturally, traditionally, something was against him. But his heart. I love the description about him. Let me take it again. Timothy. This is about Timothy. Because we are learning. Timothy was a lad with a great heritage. Listen. He had a good mother and a good grandmother. As a matter of fact, the other time I made mention of that. If you are free to control, I mean, kind of control. 2 Timothy 1.5. Uh, the mother of Timothy was a good Christian, and the grandmother too was a good Christian. They prepared him. Wow. I pray for you that God will touch your parents. And yeah, you know, maybe African to the Timothy, a co year But anyway, Obu it doesn't matter. Maybe Ofi. I say, I know I say, but not Timothy. But I pray that Lord will touch your parents and people around you so that they can support you. In your ministry. Let's read something. I am doing some song. I try to prepare some notes about Timothy. Often in the days to come, Paul was to be Paul, uh, Timothy was to be Paul's messenger. First Corinthians 4, 17, 4, 17. First Thessalonians 3, 2 to 6. First Thessalonians 3, 2 to 6. He was at Rome with Paul when the apostle was in prison. What does it mean? Most people, when they follow Church leaders, pastors, they easily abandon them when crisis okay. But as for Timothy, even Apostle Paul's imprisonment, he was still committed to him. Wow. No wonder he took over from him. Philippians 1 verse 1, Philippians 2 19, Philippians 2 19, uh, Colossians 1 verse 1, Colossians 1 1, Philemon 1 verses 1. Timothy was a very special relationship. To Paul. When Paul wrote to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 4 17, he called him his beloved son. So I want to ask you a question. Can your pastor call you my beloved daughter, my beloved son? <laughs> I don't know day, no. Are you a son or you a daughter? Or you are just Uba now calling them? Anyway, when he wrote to the Philippians, Apostle Paul said that there was no one whose mind was so much at with his own than Timothy. Can this testimony be given about you? Sir, oh yeah, we are associate pastor, assistant pastor, and now we are deacon, we are deaconess, and now we are group leader. Or so for me to make a say, to be in heart is Philippians 2, 19, 20, Philippians 2, 19, 20. It seems very likely that Paul saw in Timothy his successor when he had to lay down his work. Happy indeed is the man to whom it is given to see the result of his training in one who can take up the burden when he lays it down. Oh God. Uh, so for, I'm sure this mother, woman of God, for Sinapia. God bless you, Mama. Julia Danyami Befi, God bless you. Uh, my sister, she says, it is true, Bishop. My father is an elder of a church of Pentecost, and my mom a chorus leader. The only place we know from childhood is church premises. Wow. Wow. I can't talk about not to say. What could be for not say that? But what about your five? Yehoah. Let me say, we call club with that. Minimum, I dare find a club. A club could have minimum. Minimum, just at the at the club hour off. Yes, yes, we what more be. Ah, also for we pay. We also have to preach na. We need more train now. Different, different. We need to learn to buy na. We need more born. Anyway, if you pay more here, my man will invite you. Jesus, he can change everything. But for me, Timothy was a special person. And uh, when we go to Timothy, entitled, going to be great because to extend, we call we have something we call pastoral epistles. And you better do it. But we are going to ask. But we say it's really a great now. Another lesson we can learn. Julia Nanyami Befi says, Great man of God, God bless you. Uh, my G, amen. But the great in the Enfibian Yangopo, I am just a vessel. I'm just ordinary covenant of all. But God bless you, dear Maji. But please, let me that say that you honor me. Let us give honor to God. He is the greatest. 
I'm just a mere follower. I'm a brother to you. God bless you for honoring me. Thank you very much. Now, let's see what they say. I have already spoken to the young upcoming ministers. In case you are here, the sound of my voice, and you are head pastor, a leader in your field, in your company. After you, who is going to be your successor? Yeah, what kind of hand? I told you, in church, I don't know where you, you are, but in most places, when you choose a young person and you are training people, so this one is a small boy. Timothy was a young man. And Apostle Paul chose him. Anyway, and you can't Timothy was saying, Timothy was in his 20s. But he was able to justify his inclusion. Young I so from Penny for somebody like me and you, in case you are hearing the sound of my voice, you must be able to identify our successes as early as possible. How? By the grace of God and by uh, divine selection. If I saw you, you mean more than also? Every one more person will be at the twenty-five. Yes, also. And yet, in the Bible, the low wise, the pastors, God called at the age of twenty-five. They say, "Kura Ghana," and so they be the only forty and fast of all. They only select people from twenty-five to thirty. We put thirty-five for young fast. And here, I told them, "We will be here. We will do so. We will do so." Let me tell you, I come up after the year. We be at the twenty years. We are here. Now Ghana a constitution could also be the eighteen or twelve, and you also also are not the baby. But me and I, Ghana, yeah, so those of us who are young people, the way we conduct ourselves, I don't know much they say. God can use us. That's it. We are brand new now. We are just young for one year, man. Ha! But the American Ghana say, hey, my sister is here. A Christian, Christian Kwao, and a Julian, and Yami Benfi, for Sina Pia. They are all my sisters, and they bless him. A brand new, hey, Auntie Abra. My name is Zeke. I already said that when you are moving here, I feel no abba. Timothy, the actor, don't you must have him. And you might one day, one day, won't be here if Jesus tarries. I am fifty-five by the grace of God. I don't think that at the age of hundred years, I'm going to do what I'm doing. No, me assure sir. Ah, we do only be eighty years. I said, man, we will be in a bay. Yes, I'll be. I'll still be around, but I'm not expecting to be bringing. I don't pay early morning, five o'clock. I went to Adum TV. After Adum TV, Adum FM. After Adum FM, uh, I came here to do Divine Encounter. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to teach 4 o'clock uh, Bible school in person. I said, no, it is too much. My cousin, I don't know. Hey, you. Maybe I'm t after here, I need to drive another two hours or more. At the age of 80, I'm not going to do this one. No, not at all. No matter how God give me strength, I'm not going to be morning, morning. If you feel early morning, cry. My baba, my daughter cry, and I will home because my baba cry. I'm sorry. Now, what I'm trying to say, and the common sense tell me, say, me poor, me poor. Some people need need to be trained. Thank God, here in Peace Chapel, the Presbytery, we have a lot of associate pastors. We are paying here. Enjoy my concurrence. Debi, 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 debi. Tete mranti ano. Here in this church, we have of any part there's something to be done because we have the the most senior associate pastors. More than ten <laughs> that are just around me. After them, another. Yeah, almost. Uh, so I can say, say about thirty people are there. After almost, you know, then we have uh, the shepherds. Almost so yeah, manante, manante, come on, come on, come on. I can say, say, they, you miss them, go. Oh, ni pogo habi bri. I'm a boy. My shepherds look around. I'm a tough. And I'm happy for that. But yeah, bomb pass. Yeah, but it's in the pogo bri. Amen. Let us begin to train young men in ministry. And let's say an uh, international youth day today, the whole world today. As what I'm trying to say, Apostle Paul located, identified somebody who was a youth. How do I know? Paul can say, Obi, uh, Timothy, here will be a woman to Brebu. Do not allow somebody to despise your youth. So he was a youth. And yet, Apostle Paul chose him, selected him, accompanied him. And the, before he lay down, he took over from him. For the youth. And eventually, when you read the Bible, when you, uh, the book of Ephesus, right? Uh, the church at Ephesus had about 3,000 church members. You, Pastor Timothy, was in charge. And they were going to have a problem with Africa. And I said, I'm going to tell you, where do you say? Where do you say? I'm going to tell you, I'm For me, I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell be off for years soon. Because Pablo, in Israel, somebody was eight years. He was a king in Israel. 
Somebody who was 16 years, he was killed in his eye. David, when he killed Goliath, he was in his teens. AD. Joseph became great in his teens. He took over the entire Egyptian empire at the age of 30. I don't know where more Bible when they know when they are brandy. Hey, where do you sir? Bishop Ronin Colan and Pacho, Mr. Opa, Yami Yuma, who be at twenty years away. You know, we are the other. Banina, I can answer a Gramon Maranti and also. We are both fra, do honey. You only made what other time we travel to a chair with pastors to pray, and then one of our sons in the church, Kwame Tuntu was the driver. You see him, these guys. I have a crowd and answer. So, tell you about who? Yes, but 35. Oh, what? You know, uh, uh, the technical director here. He was a driver and uh, he was driving my brother in law's big car. You know, body wise, he's slim, but I can't hold it. Car always really serious. You're on top of my man. I'm going to say, hey, Bushop, we are car, can say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Anyway, what am I saying this evening? It's important for senior men, senior women, to train young people to take over from them. But all depends on the character. Timothy was young, but he was able to carry himself very well, and Apostle Paul used him. Finally, I want to still sing a song of Timothy that we hit the verse uh, uh, says equal. Timothy was a lad with a great heritage. Amen the power. He had a good mother and a good grandmother. Second Timothy 1 5. Second Timothy 1 5. I've seen uh, my brothers and sisters, Kwesia Sara is here, Alex from Belgium, Abrain Yamicha from uh, UK, Precious Jewel, and many more. And my prophet, Prince Jadida. God bless all of you for joining this uh, feed. Please share the page and keep on uh, trusting Jesus. Make sure you be on this uh, program till we finish. Share. And create watch party for your, your friends as well. And don't forget, this is cool. So when you go to the comment section, uh, you can just send me either a question or suggestion or something, or give me WhatsApp message 0554 And you'll be Timothy. Now they enter. If they ask 16 1 to 5, you know, there's a name called Timothy. I've done some research. I want to do another song. This is the third song. After that, we quickly uh, enter to uh, verse 6, uh, chapter 16, verse 6 to 10. Timothy was a lad with a great heritage. He had a good mother and a good grandmother. Second Timothy 1 5. Often in the days to come, he was to be Paul's messenger. First Corinthians 4 17, 4 17, and first Corinthians 3 2 to 6. He was at Rome with Paul when the apostle was in prison. Philippians 1 verse 1, Philippians 2 19, Colossians 1 1, Philippians 1 1. Wow. Timothy was a very special relationship with Paul. When Paul wrote to the Corinthians, he called Timothy my beloved son. When he wrote to the Philippians, he said there was no one whose mind was so much at one with his own. Philippians 2 19 20. It seems very likely that Paul saw in Timothy his successor. When he had to lay down his way. Happy indeed is the man to whom it was given to see the result of his training in one who can take up the burden when he lays it down. Wow. And uh, somebody said today's network network is bad. Oh. Well, then check your end. Over here, it is not bad. <laughs> Over here, Mr. Kwame Jeff is here. So everything is under control. I could see. And all the people are here. LP Concerns is also here. And also for uh, Ruby is also here. Over here is okay. And the check your area. <laughs> if you like, also for buy Wi Fi. Why? Anyway, so let's continue. <laughs> As, okay, somebody says it's double voices. Please, uh, now I'm, I'm hearing you. So please check and see uh, what, that, what he's saying. So he, he says double voices from here. Let's see. Okay, uh, somebody just says it is clear in his end. Uh -huh. so, 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 somebody just said it is clear there. So please check. Anyway, so we are continuing. In case you just join us, 
Uh, my name is Efo Salansi, Efo Lolonyo, Elema Uze, Fafa, Bishop Adolfo. And uh, when they say, I mean, they, I see them say, Fafa say a hey, peace. And uh, uh, Salansi say, the hearer has heard. They are suffering for their own regions. And we come home and we consider them. And we met in the media. And I'm a fa. And I'm a dead man. I don't know. I just love always. I love everybody, but I love always. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. People say, no, salah, sin, if Other people argue. Is it an airway? I am a Ghanaian. I'm a child of God. I'm in love with everybody, especially the airways. That's it. That's my own opinion, anyway. May it be so the end your now. And now, Pastor Brady, the other Jibodi. Yes, sir. Correct. Let's read. Acts 16. Yeah, in case you just join, we have already read Acts 16, 1 to 15. So I'm just doing. Uh, explanation now when we read Acts chapter 16 something happened here let's go to the Bible Acts 16 verses 6 next Paul and Salah traveled to the area of Prigia and Galatia because the Holy Spirit had prevented them from preaching the word in Asia wow at that time then coming to the borders of Mysia they headed north for the pro province of Bithynia but again, the spirit of Jesus did not allow them to go there. So instead, they went on through Mysia to the seaport of Trials. Here in verse 9, 69. That night, Paul had a vision. A man from Macedonia in northern Greece was standing there, pleading with him, come over to Macedonia and help us. So what are we saying? Apostle Paul began his uh, this is second missionary journey. He has a vision for Asia. Holy Spirit said, no, go to Europe. That's it. So uh, instead of Asia, the gospel first went to uh, Europe. From Jerusalem to Europe. Straight from Jerusalem, there were cities around. But instead of Asia, uh, Paul from that side, Palestine, straight to Europe. So we can see Acts 3, verse 6. Uh, to 10. Now, something special is here. Holy Spirit said to Paul, don't go here. Again, don't go here. And eventually, he had a vision. Somebody was talking to him. Come to Macedonia and help us. Oh, all these names. Bishop. <laughs> oh, somebody of you are so many. Anyway, the to I went, I took one, okay, about, about my names. I went to Aquetia, I took one. Elements is also a Sunday school teacher. I just asked them the definitions, the meanings, and I take. And somebody did wedding. I'm sure of uh, and then the, the, uh, they the maid of honor or somebody, a bride was also, the name was Fafa. I asked the meaning. He said, peace, I took. And they have still taken. And the and the but it's all clear. Anyway, we go to the way. We pay Ewan Dave, Marco Marco, seven. Okay. William, and he say, I love Ewan Dave's and they have impacted on people. And that hold on. And that hold on. Uh, Money King, God bless you. So, Lizzie Grace, God bless you. He didn't want to come and say, okay. He won't go up. He didn't ask you. He may have done. I think people argue. They don't understand. That's why once a while, I need to explain. This morning on TV, uh, the hostess was also talking about that. The people are more on TV. Any baby, ah. And thank God, say hostess on uh, Adun TV, no awkward yeah. So when I said them, uh, Salas was say yes, yes, Pastor uh, Thomas. But anyway, young queen. So let's go back to the Bible. Acts 16, verse 6 to 9. Holy Spirit was doing something. Holy Spirit. Yeah, hey. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit in the life of Paul. In the life of Paul. In his missionary work. Okay, number one. Holy Spirit was the sender. He was the sender. Acts 13, verse 1 to 3. Holy Spirit was sender. Number two. He was the director <laughs> of oppression. Wow. Holy Spirit. I don't know. Acts 16, 6 
to ten. Holy Spirit in the life of Apostle Paul. Baby, do you a young As a matter of fact, as a director, no, uh, director of operation, no, we can also talk about Galatians. Galatians 2, verse 2. Holy Spirit in the life of Apostle Paul, in his missionary work. Number one, he was the sender. As chapter 30. As he say, as he say, we need Holy Spirit to direct us. Apostle Paul was able to do much. Why? He was sent by the Holy Spirit. And can you imagine operation me director of operation? Hey, if Holy Spirit becomes director of operation in your life, then 99.99 all your problems will be solved instantly. No wonder Apostle Paul came last, and yet he did much. He labored more than them. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 10. He did much more than them. Why? Because the prince, uh, he, uh, Holy Spirit was the director of the prince. So the lesson here is that men of God, women of God, Christians at large, Holy Spirit has been given to us. Let us allow him to direct us. Don't make decision without him. You need his direction. I need him. This uh, afternoon, I was pondering about the impact that Elijah, Elisha, Paul, Peter, Samuel, Moses made. And I realized it wasn't because of their stature or personality, but because of the invasion of the power of God. It was too visible. Holy Spirit was visible in their life. Hence, the impact. My friends, if there's something you need, ah, uh, Holy Spirit. And uh, that's what the, the message, come to Macedonia and help us. When I was a boy, like seven years, my mother used to take me to a prayer group. And they, they sang this song. Come to Macedonia, Bebo, why Somebody go, come to Macedonia, go. Come to Macedonia, Bebo. And I can still recall at the age of seven. This prophet is by Kai. Now I'm on Now you can you can sense visible power of God. Chabra Macedonia, Bebo Waye da da da. Chabra Macedonia, Bebo Waye. Oh wow! I don't know, <laughs> but I mean I love songs. At times in your challenges and desperations. You need Holy Spirit song like this. Chabra Macedonia, Bebu. Why are you not going to say anything? Chabra Macedonia, Bebu. Why are you? Listen. Holy Spirit was the operation director, operation manager in the ministry of Apostle Paul. What about you? You don't need to be a pastor for him to take over that but a child of god is a child of god in your major decisions who to marry where to live what to do you need him remember as a child of god don't worry about issues of life don't pray about money or wealth apostle paul came late he did much why Holy Spirit was the director of prison in his life. Wow. And I love chapter 30. Holy Spirit said, separate to me, Paul and Barnabas. So visibly, audibly, he sent them. Wow. A man of God, don't make decisions without him. But you saw a tears already. And you, or you know, tears already. Say, yes, my, I will be a tear. Anything that you want to do, not only church planting, allow him to talk to you. He is still uh, in the position of talking to people. And I pray that God will open your ears to hear his voice. I pray that he will open your, your eyes to see him. Second Kings 6, 15, 17. Second Kings 6, 15, 17. Elisha prayed, oh God, open his eyes. 
my prayer for you tonight. Oh God, may God open your eyes. Isaac Minta, Veronica Jemfi, Emmanuel Say, William Enim, Moniki, Lizzie Grace, Marcus Asu, Kwesi Asare, Alessechi, Prince Janida, Prince Ojewel, Blessing, Abraham Nyamiche, Christiana Akwao, Juliana Nyami Belfi, Fosina Apia, Marcus Asu, Boato Mabenis, Sidi Roda, Amachi, Ama John Paul, Yaopoku, Fosa Yaboa, Ohinaba Yaboa, Joe Usu, in Jesus' name, may God open your eyes for you to see. May God open your ears to hear. And power of course, I am more power of Christ. You need to say, "I will not die." I am a man who is so so many friendly. God, don't allow me to become a spiritual blind person. Eboa, who are they? Yo, I mean to me now. Ah. One of the best that will be your team voice. Who team and voice will be shame come from the way and drop? The empty and comfort with that. How the reason why people can deceive something because they themselves they lack the authenticity, the vigor, the vitality, the potency from God. They can't have access to divinity. I can see why you love it. I can see school that you call your co-guard. Then you can't want it. Quite to is here or people of is here. It's important. And then go for a Christopher. You know, the, their problem is material things. It is not about to pray for money, but oh yes, I now oh said man. Pray God open my eyes. Because when God directs your path, you struggle. Galatians 2 2. I love it. You see, I'm a student of the Holy Spirit, so I love it. The Bible, says, Paul said, I went up. <laughs> oh, he took up his mantle via revelation. He took up his journey by revelation. It was revealed to him to go. He went, he made it back. Impotency and living legacy that you can live here depends on your relationship with Jesus through his spirit. Yami on show man you may empower but no. Yes. Unless such is I receive in the name of Jesus. Benjamin Danso is watching. Ofuswa painting is watching. God bless you. you. Just join us. This is Act 16. We are so still uh, we are still diving into it. And uh, from the verse 6 to verse 10. Apostle Paul, the Holy Spirit in his life. He, Holy Spirit, was the sender. In the life of Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, Acts 13, 1 to 3. And he was his coach, director of affairs, director of oppression. Galatians 2 to Acts 17, 6 to 10. What about you? What about you? For you to serve God better, you need him. You don't need to be a pastor for his direction. Every child of God. Yesterday, here in this church, Peter Chapel International, God spoke to us. Spirit, give back to spirit. God is a spirit, so a Christian, you also are a spirit. John chapter 3, verse 6. You need that kind of un uh, understanding to serve God better because by flesh you can't do much. Another lesson I want us to learn from the verse 10. Uh, William Any says, I recognize God's people, but I don't have, okay, who we are making a man. Acts 16, I say, I'm so making a man. Nine. The people, a man from Matthew, in nothing, the people come over to Macedonia. So we decided to leave for Macedonia at once, having concluded that God was calling us to preach the good news there. But this encounter, the message went to Europe first. Now, how do you treat your visions and your dreams as a child of God? How do you do that? 
Paul's apostle Paul, when he had a signal that somebody was saying, come to Macedonia, he aborted his invasion to Asia and went straight to Europe. My, my question to do, my question to you, how do you treat your wishes and dreams? You can send your question or your comment to the comment button. And uh, Isaac Mita from Canada say, Praise God, Bishop, I love your teachings. To God be the glory. Thank you, sir, for following us every day. Also, how do you treat your wishes and dreams as a child of God? Alpha Apostle Paul, when he saw the vision that God was calling him to Macedonia, he went to Macedonia and preached the gospel. So the lesson here is that let us be serious with our visions. Let us be serious with the visions we have and dreams. I don't know how you treat your dreams. And for Apostle Paul, he treated his dream with seriousness. Also, Daya, oh yeah, they now about book again. Paul, the Ohonso will be said, Chapter Macedonia, no Koi, no Koi, BBC, you have So, I want you to take your visions and your dreams serious, don't treat it lightly, and also don't get it wrong. Because I will go down on you, and Papa will have him when they open for four bar or buy a few one and Mokra on pay, and they are saving it. Obari <laughs> Your name is Kwame. You just like Fufu. And then you, you had a dream that you were eating Fufu. That one, I'm not talking about that. But serious business in life. Sure. Also, that now to say, yeah, bro. Oh, sorry, I know what you baby. Oh, sorry, I know what you did. Yeah, bro. I'm ready, bro. Hey. Me, the Medea, I'm I attack it with all seriousness. Apostle Paul saw a vision. He took a decision after the vision. So I want to encourage you, my friends, in the Lord, don't treat your visions and dreams lightly. Why? The Bible says, Job, uh, let's go Job 33. God speaks to us through dreams, visions. There's a way I tell God to speak through, through uh, audible voice and uh, dreams and visions. Numbers chapter 12. Numbers Nyame can say he speak to his people through our wishes and dreams. And to also that Ibu and Nyame na no kasano. And to turn to the And who here? Why? She is so far mommy. And Job thirty three says, "O Nyango pona ada esoso ne kasa." Tim pa cho also that ya aya sheni pa. And to turn to the kara debi 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 debi. If he say O Nyame o na ada esoso na ya o ne ne ma ekasa. And she is so so she is so mommy. Don't get. Cases I would ask through dreams and visions, and I've given you two scriptures uh, 12 1 to 8, Numbers 12 1 to 8. And God spoke to us, He Himself said, I speak to uh, my people through visions and dreams and many more. And so, don't forget that God does that. And so, let's take particular attention about the visions and the dreams that we we, we we have because it will help us. And the apostle Paul there, one found the vision and the agro or two and it is Adia also so also Daya Bahum Pai Napeda Diane Kanya me on Chewasie na Bonibi and to Ukra Debi 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 Debi. We could do a be an ever ready person or can be chill one way na why am I to be as a boni a bit to me about everybody Oma and Paro. Now let's go for the verse 11 because of time. So in the end of verse 11. Now we want to talk about Europe's first convert. The first person who received Jesus uh, 
in Europe. Uh, William Henning says, we need teachings like this. Oh, and they were there, and they were there. And I mean, some people they, they think they are experts in dreams, and so they go to radio also. I say, say, Pacho, Pacho, you're Joseph, Marco, Marco, but oh, you're Christian, you're your member. Also, they are now on the Pray, pray to God for understanding, and if possible, if you need, if you know a sissy, gifted man of God, talk to him. Don't just go on social media and begin to find meanings of your dreams. I told you, I was so to my spa. Ha! A poor man said, hey, may I die so for cheer me, but I joined the women in the media, sir. Media, sir. Oh, yes, I'm going to die over country, I'm going to say, I'm going to die. Ni a bomb pie. Uh -huh. Once a while I try to talk to people the meaning, but hey, let's pray. Especially if it is good. Yeah, uh, sure. But also they are now see and say, I see and say, you know. Your grace, but the grace, you know, is available for everybody, including you, my dear listener. So pray to God and uh when he speaks to you, don't forget, don't take it lightly. Don't treat your dreams and your visions lightly. Why? Apostle Bon. Apostle Paul saw a man calling him, come to Macedonia and help us. By his own plan, he wanted to go to Asia. But don't forget, he has Holy Spirit as the director of the prison. He sent him. Holy Spirit was his coach. So he followed him and it helped him a lot. Juliana Nyame, Bevi, Nyame Israel, Jesus, Israel, upon why you late to cry, you are almost half true. But thank God you have come. Okay, Yanko. Uh, so we want to tackle the Europe's first convert, the first person who uh, became a Christian when Apostle Paul went to Europe. Let's read verse 11, chapter 16, verse 11. We boarded a boat at trials and sailed straight across to the island of Samothrace. And the next day we landed at Neopolis. From there we reached Philippi, a major city. Of that district of Macedonia Roman colony several days on the Sabbath we went a little way outside the city to a river bank where we thought people would be meeting for prayer we sat down to speak with some women who had gathered there one of them was Lydia from Triatra a mason of expensive purple cloth who worshiped God as he listened to us the Lord open her heart. See, don't forget. Uh, during that time, you uh, as we have uh, learned on this platform, we have people who uh, fear. They, we call them. They fear God, like Cornelius. Cornelius feared the Lord, but he was a Christian. So uh, over here, we have seen a woman, a rich woman, Lydia. She feared the Lord, but she was a Christian. So when Apostle Paul went there and preached the gospel. Uh, she had it and the Bible said she was baptized along with other members of her household and she asked us to be her guest. If you agree that I am a true believer in the Lord, she said, wow, come and stay at my home. And she, I, she urged us until we agreed. So the first convert, this is a Bible school, I was also in Eba. When Apostle Paul went to the missionary journey to Europe, the first convert, was the rich woman the Bible? Look at the description of Lydia, the chapter of Acts. One of them was Lydia from Tritra, a merchant of expensive purple cloth. Or turn to man and to man, never day now. OGD, I don't know. Catch Paul said, Many me feel for you now. Beg you for the moment. I feel wow, I just see a man is here. Rich men and rich women to need the Lord. Watch this. This God is a strategic God. Apostle Paul went to Europe and the first person that received them or the rich woman. Wow. What happened? You seen Lydia, her home, made Apostle Paul very comfortable in his pursuit of talking to people about Jesus Christ. Like I said, when you may be at me in power movie. You need a destiny helper, a man who comes on your own to help you financially. Receive your destiny helper in the name of Jesus. 
All this came because Apostle Paul, he allowed Holy Spirit to become director of a prison in his ministry. Wow. Uh, in Shalaba says, it is true, Papa, I got a little problem. Only problem. Mercy. Uh, mercy. Mercy, Mensa. Hey, Auntie Mercy. God bless you. Auntie Mercy, I've seen you. God bless you. And uh, you look beautiful. And God bless you. Congratulations. I know that God has blessed you with a, a very humble, handsome husband and a nice child. Philip Jim is also watching. Okay. So, what are we saying? Apostle went to Europe and the first convert was Lydia, the rich woman, who allowed herself to be baptized with her with all her household. Over there too, it simply means that those of us who are Christians, if God has saved you, make sure all your family is saved. Yes, that is very, very important. Don't just uh, be a Christian, whereas all your people are not Christians. Now that God has saved you, you need to also help uh, your family also to be saved. It will help a lot. Chapter 16, verses uh, 16. But this Lydia was a good woman. I'm sure she helped Apostle Paul very much financially. That God will help all of us financially to bless us. May God connect us to good people in our ministries. Duranyakwa, God bless you. Ah, I said, "Be one more now." Minimum is able to make drawa. Ah, yesha, able to buy a home. One day, verse sixteen. As as sixteen sixteen, one day as we were going down to the place of prayer, we met a demon possessed slave girl. She was a fortune teller who earned a lot of money for her masters. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, "These men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you." Mamina, who will be one of Sona or Sam Control? Only a new who said Paul, and then the crop for the name crop for. Although she was speaking the truth, but her source was evil. Don't forget that one. What she was saying was true, but her source was evil. What does it mean? I tell some prophets and some men of God that because what they are saying is true, they have a good source. No. Far from that. You may see somebody and prophesy by him. What you are saying might be true, but your source might be a wrong source. Listen, this woman, the Bible described her, what is it? She was a fortune teller who earned a lot of money for her masters. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you how to be saved. Was it true? Yes. Paul and his team were great people. They went to Philippi to preach the gospel. It was true. But the woman was a fortune teller. Don't deceive yourself as a man of God because you're a prophet. Don't deceive yourself as a, 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 a man of God because you're a preacher. Your source can be a wrong source. So, yes, shall the supplier say, Obisha, come. When you want to put the FM again, I get off with you. I try. Before I have a home, baby, I'm free. Who for a quartier? Who for a bad job? Bad job, the echo to me. The old canoe and correct, but his source might be false. So never conclude that because somebody has said something about you that is true, that person is a man or woman of God. That can be a lie from this book. Yes, yes. Fortune teller. Or can of Apollo, but not a source of it. And the Yana Yetia, a software, you free, software, you are paying, make a source of one being, a software being a yet. But why not be? They are all churchly, may I mention Jesus, my baby? May bra, me secret life, and a chile. Obisha, come on, and guess what I mean? Every number of the local and the credit source. So what am I saying? Don't be. Judgmental though, but don't conclude also this is a man of God. Mere saying because especially this realm on here, when it comes to prophetism and the other stuff, they are sure say and chile chile and they are there. They much problem, but it's so full of me and me. Oh my dear, I don't know. Hey, 
me call the program and say, I will bomb me pain today, I will bomb me, 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 I'm also saying so because I have to run up. From what we are learning, you know, this fortune teller was able to say something good about Paul, but she wasn't from God. Paul and Nietzsche, I will say. Don't get me wrong. Me, I'm not here to condemn anybody. Me, I'm a new baby. I'm just a starter. I feel kind of much as a new baby. But the American can say, hey, I a Christian woman, but he mistake. We give away me and me. I can't say, oh, yeah. We share a cup of beer, pray, no beer, pray. Just say, we can't feel me. David. On your me, on source, on every other thing you go for, we say say thanks to me that now have more for. And the and can many also for the casa, can many catch also for you and say, who is your source of your power? Me, the eventually church, by the grace of God, my source is Jesus Christ. If you don't believe, ask Him. Yeah, my source purely is Christ. Also for me, dear, yeah. Also, so who is your source? Don't judge. Don't be judgmental. Maybe in Kaza, maybe we will be glad to buy a bishop or your friend. I'm not saying part. I mean, I'm a friend. I say, make sure we finish. I mean, meet the end. No, I say we meet the end. Yeah, the old friend. I mean, no. But I will say, you're money in a moment. You need to make them. They want to make them say, yeah, you're pretty. I'm not saying. What you for me? What time? I go and run away. What's that? I'm so much more excited. If say, we be home. We be home. We be home. We no car. And just to finish. I mean. I saw my mentor and I know about the room. Oh, check here. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and the question is, you know, but I don't want to question by her because I can't a few minutes. Then, yes, you know, yeah, that is. Jesse said, please, Bishop, does it mean you can fear God but cannot be a Christian? If so, how? Oh, yes. Uh, Theo, in the, uh, during the time before Jesus, Cornelius, the Bible said, he feared the Lord. What does it mean? The Gentiles uh, went to Israel and they made the God of Israel their God. Some of them even went to a state of circumcise, or I mean, going to circumcision. Right? But Jesus wasn't their God. And so you can fear God, but you may not be a Christian. How can you be a Christian? You can be a Christian only if you are served Jesus Christ. As your king and your savior. For example, what was the name of 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 the you can only be a child of God through Christ. And if somebody can fear God, say, well, but they bring your money. Oh, it doesn't make you a righteous person. In Christ, only we can find righteousness. Second Corinthians 5, 20, 21. Romans 5, 1 to 17. Ah, uh, okay, so say, okay. We have many say for bishop, everything is centered on Christ. Yes, sir. That's my call. That's my mandate. Thank you, sir. Uh, and Shabba says, Bishop, you have taught us that any revelation from anywhere, anyone, you can confirm from God. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, yes, that's not the truth. You can confirm from God. Anyway, I don't know who you make a say. Ask City, but City now, and today, I can't go. I don't know who say. We, we conclude. I told you, I was also a teacher, or a teacher. That's what people say. When the Bible goes on, guy. Oh, my papa, don't put me on bed here. I can do no use to any of me. Now, don't get me wrong. We have good prophets, good men of God, good women of God here in this church. We have prophets here. Many of your friend Bishop Adolfo, my only ordinary pastor. Once I want to hear, once I want to see, and I'm not a prophet. But I'm so far out of it. If you're a you were deep for a office. So, but you may come to see and say, in your life as a person, Never conclude this man is a man of because he saw something about me, about my friend, he spoke about his egg, uh, about a uh, bank account number, and no catches of him. So be a camel who must send you a and be a source of India, and so you can hear no bread, and be a barbara send, and I'm a person of shadows. So why you say, Uncle Hukuru will go, and Roguia will also be said, or shall go to 
And then you move around the vessel of the and on the boss for as a member. If the young lady, Nanaba, God bless you, and uh, and check right now. I'm very happy to have you because okay, half 20 minutes to catch up. The other boss here, you are a vessel to also ready up from a day Monday, Thursday. Keep on sharing uh, your questions and your thoughts. Go to the uh, comment button in case you just join us. We are doing uh, a CDC teachings on our system. And uh, your convener is Efo Salasi, Efo Lodonyo, Fafa Salasi, and Elemausi, Miyama, Mikasei. So let's go to uh, verses 80. The IBB, the woman was shouting, for to Jela, O Shouto, Paul Abeyewade. And this he did many days. And Paul, Acts 16, 18, and Paul being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee with you in the name of Jesus. Come out of where he came out the same hour. But it didn't come to the house of the frame. What was his source? Where from uh, uh, this woman's power? Because Apostle Paul cast the power out. But yet he was able to navigate Paul and his people that they were men of God. So I'm saying. For a prophet, for a prophet to say something good about somebody doesn't mean that that person has a good source. That's something I want you to take from us. Let's continue. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gates was gone, they caught Paul and Salas, threw them into the marketplace uh, onto the rulers and brought them to the uh, magistrate saying, this man, be Jews, do a city trouble our city and teach customs, which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to us, be rumors, and the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. Oh, I would have taken. <laughs> and <laughs> when they have laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Who, having received such a child, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. Oh! Uh, as I know, Paul went and, Paul went and because he saw somebody who was a fortune teller and cast the demon, not knowing that the woman was making her masters rich by telling people lies. And go for the rope. So I mean, you also for the same one can't cry now, see him. Because for so far, no, they lose you also. Oh, the people the rope and shall go with Jessica. There's nothing new on it. Or what other? Now, okay, can one say one more All the time, one more Paul was beaten brutally because he has said the truth. Hey, hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. Sika, I'm going for no. They were using that woman for to tell her for money. Don't allow the devil to use because of money. And when they realize that their gates have been stopped, Paul and Silas receive some beatings. Huh. Listen, I tell some of some of us who are believers, you go through challenges not because of anything bad you have done, but because you are standing for, for Christ Jesus. But if you stand for Jesus and the devil attack you, surely God shall vindicate him. Don't forget that one. There shall be uh, a vindication from God. God will surely vindicate you. So take note of that. Very, very, very vital. Paul and Silas were beaten, put into prison. Because of what he did. Ah, interesting. And then, what happened? Uh, this uh, jailer and uh, his masters, the jailer has himself and his family uh, got saved because of Apostle Paul. You know what happened there uh, from the verses uh, 25? God, Paul and Silas began to sink, and God did mighty act. Works by bringing them out from the prison yard, and uh, the jailer and uh, his family were saved. And Paul and Silas, too, uh, God preserved their life. Uh, the less 25, as is 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and some princes unto, to God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaking. Immediately, all the doors were open, 
and everyone's band was loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. Paul cried and said, Do not kill yourself, for we are all here. In the busy army. Now, listen. When you are going through challenges, what do you do? When you are suffering, what do you do? Most people, if they are suffering, in their challenges, they become talkative. Others are, are depressed and stressed to a level that they can't do anything. Other people too also tend to become complainers. Complainers in PhD. Other people stop going to church. And then they go before God and say, Why? What's the so Why? Paul and Salas, in their desperation, after they cast the devil, and they were put into jail after beating, they began to praise God. From Paul, Mountful, and Bethel, God bless you. William Manning say, God have mercy on us from these people. Uh, he's talking about the fake people. Question, maybe some idea for you. In your desperations, what do you do? In your challenges, what happened? As Apostle Paul and Salas, in their challenges, they sang praises and worship God. And don't ask you. I brought money and they are here. If I tell a man will be said, when things are hard, turn to God and worship Him. Stop complaining. Stop talking to people about your problems. You are not the first person to go through problems. Other people have been there before. By their problems, they turn to God and they sang and worship. So maybe I may be, and then we may see people are being great. We go for that bread. I may have never told you because I'm here to be a worshiper. To be a prince, what happens when, in spite of challenges, uh, you forgo all your uh, all your worries and begin to face God and worship? And you might have a dust. So yes, we serve God, but in our challenges, we easily forget that God is still God. Don't forget, nothing will change God. Not even your problems. He said, "I change it not." Manakai three. Says God can never be changed because of challenges. So, what are we saying in your challenges as a child of God? What do you do? Apostle Paul and Salas in their challenges, they thank God and they bless the name of God. I'll say, also for Kinsley, what I want to say tonight is that we have done chapter 16 of Acts, verses 1 up to 30. And uh, for the verse 25, I could not do much teaching because of time. Because uh, me a go see say for the verse 25 no, of Acts 16, Apostle Paul and Silas in their challenges, instead of crying and talking to people and giving up, they worship God and they sang hymns. And what when they did that, God intervened. If you want divine intervention, you can never get it just by mere crying, talking to people. No, God facing people who trust him no matter what they are going through. If you want divine intervention, turn your challenges and go and praise God. I don't know if you pray, but I pray for you. I pray for you. In all your challenges, God is good. What's the view? And bless him no matter what because God is in heaven. He does what pleases him. God is a good God. Let us learn from Apostle Paul and Silas that in their desperation, they didn't give up. They sank songs and they prayed to God and God intervened. I have told you this area, we saw my age, it will be way down. You have that holy moment. Be a worshiper, but tonight at least, if I don't let anything at all in your challenges, go to God and praise God. But don't forget, the fortune teller, she saw Paul. He said something good about Paul, but his her source was evil. So never conclude that because somebody has prophesied accurately, he has a good source. No, and I'm not also saying that most prophets don't have a good source. They have, but from the scriptures and the lesson, we must not conclude 
people because of what they do. Jesus said, Don't be a simple way, they are in the Finian. Yes, I didn't say that one. Matthew 7 21. I said, Dano, go back and say, Edunisha, go say, Nemo, now we have the entry. So doing the right thing and having Jesus, make Jesus your source. That's what I was saying. And then don't forget how Timothy and Paul also related. And so tonight, this is an uh, online program. If you are late, you can go to uh, Facebook, download, and uh, just go to Peach Chapel, listen and listen. And God bless William Henry Kingsley, Phil Paul, uh, Nanaba, Jesse, and uh, Duranya Kwan, Messi Mensah, Philip Achim, and uh, all of you, Juliana Nyamibe Fi, Isaac Mita, Prince Jedida, Benjamin Danso, Alex Echi, Kofusu Apete, and uh, Mosemba Aidan, Isaac Mita, Veronica Jemfi, Emmanuel Say, and uh, Monique, and Otofo Sobojo, Lizzie Grace, Michael Sasu, Kwesia Sare, Precious Jewel, Bless Abraham Yamiche, Abra, Abra, sorry, I'm going to bring Yamiche to you. And for Sinapia, and then what I'm going to say is the Ruda, Amache, Ama, John Paul, Yapoku, Foster Yamwa, Michael Sasu, Hinuba, Yamwa, Jones, God bless you for your time, and we thank God for the crew here. Uh, shepherd, why would you feel? I saw you can see you, Pastor, so for you, you, and this big brother, and then uh, LP. God bless you, God permit. We shall meet Thursday. Until then, this is Peach Chapel. Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon, 12 noon, Wednesday, 12 noon, we have Divine Encounter. 12 noon prayer, lunch time. You can join us. And Thursday, I will continue. God bless you. Good night. Bye. Then 5.30, the Bible says, is any one of you suffering? Is any one of you going to hardship? Let him pray. Prayer is the key. Jesus Christ, he prayed. The apostles prayed. Abraham prayed. Hannah prayed. We call it divine encounter. So, my name My name my engineer empire. If you want your level to change, it is through prayer. Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. Peach Apple Facebook Live. All you need to do, search Peach Apple and meet Peach Apple International pastors and men and women of God. And there shall be a change of level because through prayer, you can encounter God and there shall be a performance. We will be there. Your love is